What's up guys and welcome to this video and in this video uh, I'm going to show you how to install a Macintosh on Linux Ubuntu using a virtual box. Uh, the first you need is uh, two files. Uh, obviously the first one is a Snow Leopard ISO image and the second is a virtual box. Uh, so guys don't forget to check out my description which I posted in the video. Uh, you can check out that. Uh, click on the download links and you can download the images. Uh, uh, you can download the ISO image and you can download the virtual box. For those who forgot to check out the, my description unfortunately. So don't worry I will be taking the websites how to download the files. So first you need to navigate to the Google Chrome browser and the Google uh, can uh, open the tab I need to type uh, cat.ph this is a cat torrents kick ass torrents uh, just click on the next tab and tap uh, virtualbox.org open it Alright, once we open the website uh, uh, Kikas Torrent, in the search query you need to type uh, Snow Snow Leopard Bazaar. Okay, then press enter. Uh, I downloaded this file, this having a lot of his seeds, as you can see this one 256. Okay, I just click on that and I download by using a BitTorrent. And uh, once you download that, uh, you can see the file like this. Here it is, and by the way, uh, this file comes with uh, uh, archive, uh, so you can see this is a raw file actually. Uh, you need uh, windrow.exe uh, uh, to extract this one. For Linux users, you, need to, you don't need to use any windrow, you just click, uh, right click on that and open with archive manager and extract this. And uh, you can see this folder once you open that folder, there it is the ISO image of Snow Leopard. And uh, we've done it and we downloaded it successfully. So, guys, you have to download that one first of all. It's around uh, 4 GB, I'm sorry, 3 GB. When you extract it, it will be uh, the 4.7 GB. Okay, just close that. And uh, we need uh, second thing you need is uh, virtual box. Click on the uh, virtual box.org, uh, uh, click on the download section. In the download section, you can see the virtual box open for Linux host. Click on that. And uh, you need to choose the version, which version that you're running present. Uh, right now, I'm using this one, uh, size Pangaloid, and just click on that 64 bit and uh, click on the install. Uh, it will be start the virtual box will be installed with uh, using a Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, once you successfully install, you can see this is a virtual box. Here it is, and click on the virtual box and open it. So this is the machine, uh, virtual machine this is a basic virtual machine and this is a basic uh, uh, welcome screen of the virtual box. Uh, I already installed the Android in the last video you have seen my video. If you seen the uh, video uh, which I posted in the YouTube uh, about Android how to install that, uh, if you don't uh, please check out that. And uh, so you need to create a, a new Macintosh virtual machine. To create that you need to click on the new. And type it as a name. I am going to keep as a Snow Leopard. There it is. Uh, it is automatically detected the type of the version. Just click on the next. In the next, it recommends you at least uh, two gigabytes of RAM. Okay, enough for me. Just click on next. Uh, choose this one option. Create a virtual hard drive now. Just create that. And in the VDI, you can see the virtual box disk image. Uh, just click on the next. Uh, dynamically allocated next and here it is uh, it uh, it asks you how much memory you want allocate for that uh, it recommends you a uh, default 20 gigabytes so uh, we need uh, 30 gigabytes uh, uh, for mine I need a 30 gigabytes I think if you don't have much memory you can just click on the 20 we will go for the 20 gigabytes just click on the create there it is and you can see the all the options we have changed in that uh, you can see the base memory here 2.2 uh, 2, 2 GB and the video memory is 9. Okay, uh, once you click this one, you can see the here the small leopard named as my uh, name it is. So just click on that and right click on that first and go to the settings. You can also go to the settings by pressing the control S. Just click on the settings. In the settings, you need to go to the system first of all and uh, please uncheck this option enable EFI. This is only for special operating systems so only. You don't, you don't need this one. You need to uncheck that one. Must and should. And the display, you need to keep this one as in a full. 
and enable don't need to click on this don't need to manipulate any other things just go to the storage oh, uh, by the way you need to go to the network uh, you can choose this one NAT uh, then you need to go to the storage and the storage underneath you can see the folder which you can see the option it is called empty when you click on the empty you can see this little bit icon uh, which is represented as a CD icon I think yes it is CD just click on that and choose a virtual disk file click on that uh, there you go you can choose the uh, snow leopard ISO image by hazard.iso 4.4 GB so I'll size click on that and open it then press ok so that's it uh, we have uh, mounted that ISO image into the uh, virtual drive uh, then we need to click on the start <laughs> sorry for that once you can see the start and also you need to press a, a, a dash V uh, dash B actually uh, which gonna be detect if any problems will gonna be faced means it will to show you so if you press that one it will directly take to the uh, app Macintosh setup uh, it asks you the virtual reports okay just press ok there you go uh, you can see the Mac logo with the silver display and here and the, you can see the downloads the mouse is not working at present don't worry about that once it starts the setup, uh, the mouse will automatically work. There you go. Uh, you can see it asks you to choose the language, and I choose uh, use English for the main language. Just click uh, this one next. Uh, it starts a preparing installation. Then click on continue. Okay, agree this one. And here uh, it asks you to select a destination. Uh, there is a no partition is selected, so we need to erase the partition which you have allocated the 30 gigabytes earlier in the settings. Of, uh, so we need to click on the utilities. In utilities, you can see the fourth option, which is named disk utility. Click on the disk utility, and here it is. Uh, you can see 30 gigabytes of virtual hard drive. Uh, just click on that, and here you can navigate to the second option, which is called as erase. And here you need to name it is as a uh, snow leopard. Uh, okay, okay, snow leopard. Then click on erase. That's it. Uh, you can select this one and just quit that one. And here you can see the destination. Then click on that. Uh, then click on continue. Uh, by the way, uh, don't uh, do uh, don't click on directly install. You need to customize the bootloaders and the kernels and uh, Camelon OS X. Okay, just click on the customize. Uh, you need to drop down the bootloaders. Here you can see this one. You need to enable the Camelon RC3 PCE FI 10.5 latest one. Click on that. In the kernel section, you can see. Uh, by the way, I need to have, uh, give you a little bit uh, explanation about these three. Here you can see the install Autumn Legacy kernel and Mob uh, Mobin kernel. Uh, first, we talk about the install Autumn. This is only for the i3 below processors. And uh, in the second, you can see the Legacy kernel. This works for the i5 and higher devices. Uh, I don't know uh, AMD device, I think uh, for AMD uh, users you need to click on the Mobin kernel. So for mine, I'm using an i5 processor, you just click on the legacy kernel, just click on done and then press directly enter, install. There you go, uh, check the installation DVD and then click on skip, it will gonna be start the main installation. And uh, it will take a few minutes and uh, once it's completed I will gonna be back Alright you can see the installation is started and uh, the time remaining is showing about the 3 minutes um, Once it's done I will gonna be back
Alright guys, uh, uh, it's completing the installation and the time remaining is about a minute. Uh, I'm going to be complete in a minute under. And by the way, I need to mention about this no leopardize for image features. Uh, first, the demirror says uh, it, uh, you can't play the music and the, the screen resolution is not perfect and uh, it is set as default as 1024 by 768. And in the next video, I will gonna be show you how to fix that, and uh, I will gonna be post uh, very shortly in my web in my channel. Uh, you can see it shows in about a minute. Let's wait. All right, guys, uh, it's done successfully. I'm showing up now. Uh, this computer will gonna restart in 26 seconds. In between the 25 seconds, you need to, do, do, you need to unmount that MIS for image. To unmount that, you need to go to the uh, devices, CD uh, devices, and click on this one, Snow Leopard, and just force unmount that one, okay? And after that, you need to go to the machine, you need to reset that one entire. So, you need to uh, click on this one, and just press on reset. Here we go, and double click on that to open that one. There you go, uh, you can see there's a Mac. Uh, uh, starting logo it says a snow leopard here it is the apple beautiful logo you can see this one it's starting loading game and you need to configure all the usernames and the passwords and uh, it also your apple account and I don't know how to fix that okay uh, let, let me try that one to fix it As you can see, when I'm uh, taking my mouse cursor in between the uh, Macintosh, uh, it's not appearing. Uh, once it starts uh, booting, uh, I mean, it starts, uh, it, it shows the welcome screen, it will automatically appear. Okay, don't worry. If you don't, uh, if it is not appearing, it is not working, you need to uh, press and right control. That means in the keyboard, you can see the right control and click on the right control, click on I. Okay. You can see the music, you can hear the music of the Mac Welcome screen. Okay, just uh, um, volume less that one, okay? Uh, you need to select the United Kingdom, United States. Just click on continue. Yes, yes. Click on that. Uh, you can uh, do not transfer my information. No, yes. Continue that. I think it might be take to the... Uh, uh, Logging into the uh, Apple using your uh, Apple account. You can hear the music uh, of the starting welcome screen of the Mac. You can hear the music. The music is not probably not clear actually. Take a lot of time. I don't know. Come on. There you go. Oh, you can see it asks you enter your Apple ID. So just click on continue. Uh, just click on continue. Only do that. Okay. Go back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you need to give your name. My name is Shiva. Type uh, Just click on continue. Go back. Continue. There you go. It asks you uh, to password. Don't forget to keep your password because uh, you need to keep the password. It must ensure on uh, Linux and Unix uh, based operating system. So you need to create a password. So let me allow to create a password. Okay. And uh, it asks you to verify that one. And the hint is CLD. Just click on continue. Once you successfully uh, put in all the, your full name, account name, and the password, after that, you need to click on the continue. There you go, it's connecting to Apple. If you press right control and F, I think that's my. Alright, 
either you need to if you want a full screen you need to go to the view just switch to the full screen how you can see uh, it is not uh, showing entire the full screen this is the actually problem with the snow leopard uh, is we made so uh, I already promised in the next video I'm gonna become how to fi uh, we're gonna be show you how to fix that one don't forget to check out my channel and uh, let me choose okay just click on continue yes enjoy using it okay go you can see this is a blue screen there it is uh, you can see the max uh, uh, default while live wallpaper you can see the dog just close this one you can see the dock of apple machine and uh, that's it it's very simple to install so let's try the safari browser how it works actually all right it's uh, directly loading to the apple.com so it's loading there it is uh, it's going to the apple.com i think my internet is not uh, sufficient connection to have it uh, it's not working right now okay all right uh, it will be work uh, don't worry about that uh, it will be work okay you can see the macintosh we have created the partition and uh, the 30 gigabyte that's home screen you can see the default desktop uh, the home screen the, ho the home folder get information you can see there's from the information about all the home files uh that's it guys uh make sure comment uh, subscribe uh, check my, uh don't forget to check uh my channel and youtube and thanks for watching this video make sure comment subscribe bye bye